Hi guys and welcome back to another Scout the Defender YouTube video and you can see either by the title of the video or on the bonnet I've got a huge haul of accessories and gifts from Christmas that I thought I would walk you guys through and show you I guess a sneak peek of some of the upgrades that are going to be coming to Scout over the next few months. And stay tuned for the end of the video where we've got a big upgrade that's going to be coming very shortly to the channel so stay tuned for that. On another note, 80% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you're enjoying the videos and you enjoy the content, please drop a subscribe. You'll be notified of any time I release a new video and it'll really help the channel out. I have big plans to release more videos this year and really grow the channel. So please subscribe uh, and drop a like on any of the content that you're enjoying. Also, I'd love to hear your plans for 2023 for your own defenders or your own trips. So please leave a comment down below and I'd love to kind of get a sense of what everyone's got planned for their trucks for this year. And with that, let's get into the video. Right, okay, so I've got the box right here full of those Christmas goodies that we'll go through. Right, first of all, I'm sure a lot of Defender owners have received a pair of these over Christmas. I think a lot of people were looking at the Doctor's Garage video for Christmas inspiration. We have these, the uh, Defender Adorned Fat Face Socks. Is it even Christmas without uh, getting a pair of socks? So we have well, two pairs of these, uh, Defender Adorned Fat Face Socks. And with those, this is maybe too much information, we've also got the Fat Face box shorts to go with it. So I'm gonna be kitted out with all of the uh, Defender apparel from Fat Face. They've got a collection of loads of Land Rover bits, so go and check those out. Um, so yeah, I'll be sure to be wearing those. Check out those in the future video. Alongside those, we've got some of the Fat Face bits. So we've got the Fat Face uh, air freshener. And we've also got this Fat Face series enamel keyring, which is quite nice. So we're putting those on the Defender keys. So some nice little uh, trinkets and accessories for the Defender from the Fat Face collection. Next up, what do we have? We've got this. This is something that I'm really excited to fit. So if you'd have seen um, a video previously, I installed the Mud UK light to the uh, front of the cab. This is now for the rear. So that one worked so well and transformed, I guess, the illumination at night um, that I thought I'd also replace the rear one. At the moment, that's got the standard uh, rear bulb in it. So this will mount into the rear and give us much more illumination to the back of the, uh, the workload or the workspace in the back of the Defender. That should be really easy to install. I think we just need an extra plinth to be able to mount that to the rear headliner. But we'll, uh, we'll be doing a video on, on the install of that. Should be really quick, really easy, but make the uh, workspace much easier to, to use of an evening. So a great addition. Next up, oh, we've got this. Now this is a, a bit of a sneak peek as to um, what the bigger upgrade is that we're gonna be making to Scout. So this is a torque wrench. I'm sure a lot of you have uh, got these. I hadn't got one in the toolkit, but it's gonna be really beneficial with some of the upgrades that we've got coming up. So this enables you to effectively torque up any bolt to any uh, torque setting or torque spec. Uh, so I'll make sure that the work I'm doing is, uh, I guess, secure and safe. Uh, something that, uh, a welcome addition to the toolbox. Um, so yeah, really excited to be using this on some bigger upgrades that we'll reveal towards the end of the video. So stay tuned. Next up, a bit more of a, a cosmetic upgrade. We've got these. These are the interior visor mirrors. So as standard again, the uh, interior visor of the Defender doesn't have any mirrors. Uh, so these are like the vanity mirrors that you've got. We've got a left and a right set, um, making it a bit more comfortable, a bit more closer to, I guess, a normal car. Uh, those just stick onto the inside of the visor and they'll be, again, a nice little upgrade. Nothing massive, they're just self-adhesive. Uh, they'll stick to the back of the visor, but again, just a small little upgrade, um, which I'm excited to fit. Now the next thing we've got is this, this metal enamel plinth or, or plaque, which is the Land Rover station wagon plaque. So it's more that kind of classic look. Now on the back of the Defender at the moment, I have those 3D plastic uh, Defender badges. But I think this would be really cool to mount where I currently have those positioned. Um, it's a bit more kind of involved. You've got to drill and rivet this in place, but I think it'll look really cool, really kind of classic look, um, and I'm excited to fit that. Let me know if there's any other ideas of where you think I should mount this on the car, but I think at the moment that rear kind of quarter 
that would look really smart in place of the uh, decals that I have at the moment. So that, I think that would be really cool to, to fit. Um, pretty easy to do, but it will obviously involve drilling the body again. So I always get a bit nervous when we're doing that. Now this doesn't really look like much, but this was a little, uh, I guess, Christmas gift from the guys at ORE. This is a lighting loom for connecting the DRL lights in my headlamps. So at the moment, I've not actually got the DRL functionality fitted because I've been putting that job off because I wasn't really sure where to start. But the guys now provide a loom, which makes it really easy to connect up your DRL headlamps to uh, a feed of like an ignition feed to be able to get those DRLs running. So you'll see on my Defender at the moment, you've got the headlamps and there's an upside down U, which is effectively a DRL that I've not yet connected. So that loom will make it really easy uh, to connect those up so we can have some DRLs not only in the bumper, but also in, um, in the headlamps too. So I'll be fitting that in a video coming soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, a little, uh, little Christmas present from the guys at ORE. Now we have one last product that we're gonna be uh, installing to scout in the next few videos that we've had over the Christmas period. And we'll get those out now. And the torque wrench was a bit of a clue as to what we need that for. So we have these. Now these are 30 mil tough torque wheel spacers. So these will fit between the wheel hub and the wheel to effectively bring out the wheels and give it more of an aggressive stance. In the comments, a lot of you have commented that I'm still running the standard wheels and they look you know, a little bit sorry for themselves, a little bit apologetic. So we're going to be fitting the wheel spacers to give it that more kind of stepped out aggressive stance. And then ultimately later on in the year, we're going to be swapping out the tires for some BF Goodridge all terrains, which again will add to that stance. But I think these wheel spacers uh, with those, those wheels and tire setup will really improve the stance and bring the wheel out 30 mil to start filling those arches and look more aggressive. Really excited to fit those. And that's why we also have the torque wrench to enable us to torque them up to the right setting. We'd obviously have to jack the car up, take the wheels off and fit the spacers. Really excited to fit those and I think they'll be a wicked addition to Scout. So there you have it guys, that is a little walk around of some of the Christmas gifts and accessories that I've got for Scout over this Christmas period. I'm really excited because there's some smaller modifications and some bigger modifications that will help with the usability of Scout and also the look and appearance, especially with those new wheel spaces. If you've enjoyed this video, please drop it a like. And as I said at the start of the video, leave a comment down below with your plans for your Defenders in 2023. I'd love to hear what everyone's got planned, whether that's modifications or road trips. I can't wait to hear down below and I'll see you in the next video.